Thank you very much, members of the press. I'm Babu Owino, member of parliament for Mbakasi's constituency and uh, a leader of Team Ground, the recently formed movement, political movement, that is uh, doing the work under the doctrine of separation of powers, checks and balances, as was discovered or opined by Charles Louis de Montesquieu in the 17th century. So in this century, we are proceeding with his work to keep checks and balances on both the county government and also the national government. Today, I want to issue the current sorry state of the Nairobi County government. Yesterday, the governor of Nairobi, Johnson Sakaja, did issue the state of the county. But to our surprise and the surprise of many Nairobians and Kenyans, there are so many flaws that has been committed in Nairobi County. To this extent, we have come up and analyzed the Auditor General's report that was released yesterday, 107-page report that is talking about the situation in Nairobi County. We have analyzed page by page from page one to the last page, which is page 107, and we have come up with the following facts, the conclusion to which there is serious misappropriation of funds in Nairobi County. There is serious embezzlement of funds in Nairobi County. There is serious pilferage of funds in Nairobi County. There is serious defrauding of the hard-earned money for the Nairobians and the serious misrepresentation of facts, to be short, the factoids presented by the current governor of Nairobi County. And therefore, if we want, number one, we want to talk about the type of audit opinions. And number one is the unqualified opinion. If the auditor talks about unqualified opinion means that things are okay and there is no any problem with the books of the account. If the auditor general talks about qualified opinion means that there are audit queries, but adequate information provided in the audited statements. And we, if they recommend a disclaimer, then it means that information provided for audit is inadequate. And lastly, if there is an adverse opinion, then it means that the situation is terrible because of material and pervasive breaches. In our situation, there is an adverse opinion from the Office of the Auditor General. And therefore, my analysis consists of three parts. Part A is the adverse opinion, and it reads the Auditor General says that they cannot confirm the accuracy and completeness of the financial statements provided by Sakaja for the financial year 2022-2023. The difference in payment reported by the financial statements and the ledger, which ordinarily should be the same, is 5 billion Kenya shillings which is lost, and that is found on page two of the Auditor General's uh, report. Therefore, the governor of Nairobi cannot explain the nine billion in pending bills, also in page two, 
The controller of budget did approve 17 billion. Out of the 17 billion, the governor only paid 8 billion as spending bills, but 9 billion is lost. In addition to that, the pending bills balance, as indicated, is 98 billion, which the Auditor General says that could be hot air. Assets acquired by the county government are overstated by 320 million Kenya shillings, which is lost as per, the, as per page 3 of the Auditor General's report. Next is the bank balances show that KRB, the RMLF indicates that 818 million Kenya shillings, that is what it indicates, while it should be 965 million Kenya shillings, which means that 147 million Kenya shillings is lost. Lost by lost means stolen or defrauded. Next is the recurrent account reports. Nil, the current account reports nil balance while it should have while it should have 365 million Kenya shillings, which means that 365 million shillings is also lost. Next is the revenue account shows closing balance at nil, while it should have been 1.9 billion Kenya shillings. Its opening balance also shows nil, while it was 1.3 billion Kenya shillings. Therefore, the total amount of money lost there is 3.2 billion Kenya shillings. That is found on page 3 of the Auditor General Report. But D of it says that balances of 561 million in 43 bank accounts not supported at all. Auditors cannot confirm the accuracy of cash balances of 1.44 billion Kenya shillings. Number seven, for assets acquired through NMS amounting to 620 million Kenya shillings, which is unsupported, payments were made of 3.5 billion shillings and a further 3.7 billion Kenya shillings found on page 4. Air was paid. By air, it can mean oxygen, carbon dioxide, <laughs> or any other air. Air was paid, or hot air, was paid, was paid for at 60.8 million Kenya shillings, apparently for floodlights, but no supply was done, and no entry was made for the same found in on page four of the report. Sakaja says he paid salaries of 11.2 billion Kenya shillings, but records of banks and IPPD shows only 8.8 .8 billion Kenya shillings. Hence, 2.2 billion Kenya shillings was paid to ghost workers. By ghost workers, now it means that that money has been stolen. Purported payments of 161 million Kenya shillings and 93 million Kenya shillings to temporary workers were not supported by any documents at all. That is on page 5 of the report. Number 10, 226 million Kenya shillings from the salary account was paid through 46 fictitious transactions not supported at all and not related to salaries, which means 226 million again stolen. That is on page five of the report. That is part A on adverse opinion. Part B says other emphasis, other areas where money has been lost. Number one, despite reporting to have spent 29.2 billion against a budget of 39.6 billion, the county committed additional 17.8 billion, meaning 
it spent a total of 47.1 billion which is 7.5 billion shillings above the budget now you can see where the fraud is because they've budgeted for money but they've spent above what they budgeted for so which means they were spending on what they didn't budget for that is on page six of the report despite the county having a whooping that is number two despite the county having a whooping 832 cases this is where now there is serious fraud the county had 832 cases a mere 11 advocates were owed 10.7 billion Kenya shillings 11 advocates owed 10.7 billion Kenya shillings in fees and a further 121 advocates owed another 10.2 billion Kenya shillings hence legal fees for 132 lawyers stood at 20.9 billion Kenya shillings so you want to tell me that that Sakaja has already paid 11 advocates 10.7 billion Kenya shillings it means that every advocate was pocketing 1 billion close to around or approximately 1 billion Kenya shillings what is the governor doing that is found on page 6 the county has not resolved audit issues raised by the previous audit report number four the county did not report the various funds run being run by the county e.g disaster fund and there you had what happened even in the bakasi east constituency when there was serious disaster uh, resulting from the gas explosion a budget of 285 million disappeared not even a shilling was used to help any of the victims from the county government not even a mattress not even periton was bought to give my people to sleep so that they could not feel the pain despite withdrawing that is number five despite withdrawing 30.5 billion from the county revenue fund no reports were filed with the office of the auditor general remember 30.5 billion was withdrawn but no report filed that is on page seven of the report number six nairobi pay the absolute revenue management system vendor operates without a valid contract i did talk to the majority leader of the county assembly moshimiwa imwatok and he said that on tuesday next week they will table a report on the same and that the report says that was written in mombasa that there was a recommendation from the committee the mcs said that the governor should be prosecuted that is what the decision was and that report as we speak governor sakaja is working so hard so that the report is not tabled next week on tuesday we'll follow it up number seven payment for roads and civil works amounting to 567 million was not supported by any document which means that 567 million for roads was paid but not supported so members of the press and uh, nairobians have you seen those roads being constructed according to the last report the analysis showed that the amount of money that only was spent was only 400 million but here that is for all the development that sakaja did the first development that he claimed to have done was about the school feeding program that he spent 200 million kenya shillings then the next one was the dandora stadium which was a continuation that he spent around 33 million then the rest of the money which was around 167 million went to roads but here we are being told 567 million went to roads so where is the money for these roads that's on page eight number eight the same contractor who failed to finish three dispensaries in 2020 2021 at 869 million was given another contract for Mama Lucy Hospital 
at 344 million by Governor Sakaja. And since he has abandoned the project after pocketing 165 million Kenya shillings, which he has been paid, that is found on page 8. Number 9, an amount of 32 million Kenya shillings was given to fictitious 683 beneficiaries. Though hiyo ni hewa, 32 million ilianda kwa hewa, stolen, that is on page 11 of the report. Number 10, despite buying vehicles for 100 million only, the county government paid 771.6 million to vehicle vendors, those who are selling vehicles, 671.6 million in excess of the 100 million that was budgeted for. So that money has been stolen. Remember, it, the vehicles were supposed to be bought at 100 million, but the amount of money that was paid to the person who was selling the vehicles was 771.6. Therefore, 671.6 million has been stolen, found on page 12 of the report. Number 11, despite the law requiring that salaries don't pass 35% of total revenue, the county paid 37% of 30.5 billion, blatantly breaching the law. Number 12, incompetence and deals facili facilitated double payment of leave allowance of 15.4 million to 178 favored county staffs, found on page 13 of the report. Number 13, despite having their gross pay properly paid, 26 officers were paid additional 17.6 million Kenya shillings without any reasons, which means that those were conduit, conduits for removing money from county accounts. That is found on page 14. Number 14, an entire 393 employees not tax exempt were paid 52.5 million Kenya shillings without pay as you earn tax deductions. Which means that money for KRA was stolen there. So KRA mkona kazi wacheni kufuata watu airport mkitafuta underwear ya watu huko. Na kutafuta vitu za watu. Kazi pesa yiku hapa kwa county. That is on page 14. Number 15. Some 395 employees were paid additional salaries of 100 million. That cannot be explained. Probable collectors for some big shot, found on page 14. Everything that I'm reading are very factual, and these are as per the Auditor General's report. Number 16, out of 13,354 employees of the county, only 167, which is 1.25%, are persons with disabilities against legal requirements of 5%. They should be 5%, not 1.25%. So there is no compliance. So therefore, the governor, you must up your game and employ persons with disabilities. That is found on page 14. Question uh, number 17. Despite deductions, de sorry, despite deducting pay as you earn, NSSF and NHIF of 1.72 billion, the county government did not remit those statutory deductions, which means that they are deducting, but they are stealing these monies. They are not remitting. Number 18, on the, on the drama of legal fees, 375.9 million paid irregularly as follows. That runs from page 18 to page 24 of the Auditor General's report. Number A, A, A part of it, 34 million paid, 34 million Kenya shillings paid 
were a fee note of 80 million, which was raised in a case, case which, is, which was before the High Court in a commercial transaction, case number 1581 of 2014, to defend the county on outstanding land rates of 5.4 million. So 34 million was paid. Okay? The person, the advocate raised a, a, a legal fee of 80 million. So I want you to note the nature of these cases and why 80 million should be raised for such cases. That was in 2014, but money has been paid now. Okay? So which means that one of the ways by which the governor uses to steal money from the county is through these legal fees. Using these lawyers, they have very exorbitant, expensive, high fee notes. Then that is where the government takes 50% of what he pays. And that is an agreement that he makes before. And that is what he dangles to some of the MCS, that if you don't fight me, bring one lawyer, I pay your legal fees. So that is what is happening at the county. Part B of it, 47 million were paid, were paid where a fee note of 78 million was raised to represent the county in a matter which was the Environment and Land Court, case number 248 of 2021, where a small plot was double allocated by the county in Kayoli. But C, on the 17th, Mwezi Wasaba, 17th Mwezi Wasaba 2023, 57.8 million was Kenya shillings was paid to a law firm for defending. Now, I want you to hear this is very serious. 57.8 million paid to a law firm for defending the county in a matter which was in, in the court, in the Environment and Land Court, case number 18 of 2022, against Ndakaini Dam Land Compensation of 1989, where a fee note of 77.9 million Kenya shillings was raised. So he paid 57.8. D, on the same month, same day, 17, Mwezi Wasaba, 2023, 67 million was paid to an advocate for defending the county in environment and land court, case number 176 of 2021, where a fee note of 100 million was raised against an individual who sued the county for not shortlisting him as a tra traffic marshal. <laughs> this is comedy. Imagine 67 million Kenya shillings was paid to an advocate just for defending the county for not shortlisting a person as a traffic marshal who is going to earn 18,000 to 20,000 Kenya shillings per month. Why did the governor pay 67 million Kenya shillings? Why couldn't he use this money to employ more traffic marshals? And the fee note that was raised was 100 million to represent that one person whose name did not appear in the shortlisting. He was not shortlisted. You pay 67 million. Madness. On 17th, the same month, Mwezi Wasaba, a father 50 million was paid to an advocate for defending the county in a matter where a fee note of 129 million was raised for a non reason. Imagine the case has not been stated. Ioni Kesi, Hewa, Ama Air. But he paid 50 million to the advocate. In the Environment and Land Court, case number 379 of 2018, unknown, but they decided to fix a case number, but there is no case in such a situation. F, on 8th of May, 2023, 70 million was paid to an advocate for defending the county 
in a matter where a fee note of 145 million was raised against the Kenya County, the, the County Government's Workers Union. That is 2023. 50, a further 70 million paid just to represent County Government's Workers Union. While the county, remember, has a legal department where there are advocates who can do these works. Right? G, on 17th, Mwezi Wasaba, 2023, 30 million was paid to an advocate for defending the county in a matter where a fee note of 116 million was raised on alleged threats <laughs> on county workers' pension fund. Just threats. You issue a threat, you are taken to court, an advocate is paid 30 million. H. Even those who have cases for murder, cases for terrorism, they don't pay advocates <laughs> such amounts. H. On the 17th of March 2023, 20 million Kenya shillings was paid to a law firm for defending the county government in a matter which is before the High Court, a miscellaneous case number 123 of 2017. Then Part C, which, is, which I've indicated as the last batch, it says, number one, a provider of security services to ECDE facilities who had been paid 42 million Kenya shillings for the months of April to August 2020, on 30th, Mwezi Wasita 2021, was paid again 16.8 million for the months July and August 2020 by Governor Sakaja and was paid on the 13th March of 2023. So the ma amount of money that has been stolen there is 16.8 million Kenya shillings. That is found on page 25 of the report. Number two, garbage collection paid for at one point at 145.9 million without any documentation and handwritten receipts issued despite Dandora Way Bridge being capable of generating official receipts. Tunaelewana vizuri? Amba mmepotea wenzangu watu wa midi. Tuko sawa? Mejua hii kitu inaweza fanya mtu wa ruke kutoka hapa dirisha mpaka chini ya commit suicide juu. Hii pesa hii, that is found on page 25. Number three, a paltry 27 tipas were purchased at a whooping 772 million. <laughs> hey. Sakaja, sucks, sucks. Eh? Hey. Hii ni dish in a county kweli. A paltry 27 tipas. Hizi lori za kubeba takataka. Were purchased. Zili nunuliwa at 772 million. <laughs> Which means that lori moja, mtu anipigie sabu wapo araka, 772 divided by 27, tupate bei ya lori moja hapo araka sana. Is approximately 30, 30 what million? 28. Huh? 28 million. So lori moja ya tipa, ilinunuliwa at 28 million. Hey. That is on page 26. Other notables. Governor Sakaja has refused to appoint critical staff. This is also in the report. Number one, as critical as a county secretary who serves as a secretary to the cabinet and head of county public service is... Ha, no, sorry. County uh, Public Service has not been appointed a substantive office holder for 19 months. Someone is still acting with restricted powers. Number two, on the 35 accounting officers, only 29 have been appointed 19 months down the line. 
the question is, aren't there enough qualified people in Nairobi to do the jobs? Why haven't we appointed the, the, the 16 remaining? Number three, there is a case seeking to nullify the appointment of Sakaja's County Public Service Board members due to breach of the law. So that means clearly that he's a lawless man, as you can see. And therefore, Sakaja's state of the county was merely diversory. Number one, the big projects, building primary school classrooms, which is not his duty, as he was purporting and saying, that is a function of the national government. The big projects, building primary school classrooms, northern collector tunnel for water, waste to energy power facility, are not in the county government's budget, as he was saying that he will, he will do them this in this financial year. They are not in the budget. Therefore, he cannot do that which is not in the budget. Number two, the county was running a budget of 42 billion with a development portion of 12 billion Kenya shillings. So the question is, where does this money go to? Because this financial year, clearly, Sakaja has only spent 400 million Kenya shillings. So where is the rest of the 12 billion? We are finishing our financial year in June. Number three, as of 31st December 2023, end of financial year 2023-24, 20, Sakaja had only collected 3.8 billion in on source revenue. How can he lie that he collects the budgeted 19 billion on the on source revenue? And if indeed he said that he collects that, then where is the balance, the deficit? Where has this money been taken to? Because he says that he collects money. So where is this money taken to? Number four, Dishina County is getting funding from government development partners, from the national government, from the county government. And kitchens being built by the county government. Who is this so-called implementing partner? They've not been mentioned anywhere. Where where and what is the contract between them and the county? That's a sensitive docket where you cannot say that you are in a contract with somebody and that contract is impliedly. The contract must be expressly. It must be put down on paper because that's a sensitive docket. We are dealing with children. We want Governor Sakaja to come out and account to the people of Nairobi on the specific resources budgeted for and entrusted with him from the equitable share of revenue, which is 20 billion Kenya shillings, on source revenue of 19.9 billion Kenya shillings, and three other additional conditional allocations of 2 billion Kenya shillings. Whatever he chooses to do with other funds will be the subject of audit and accountability as and when those funds are available. Therefore, the people of Nairobi are not interested in drama. They are not interested in dimples anymore and dumb talks. They need services in all the fundamental areas where the constitution devolved functions to counties. Thank you very much.